Hello folks, now I'm not one to do these reaction videos, but today's feature drop I feel needs a quick one. So what we see here, look at John Stones. He is in a libero role that you can use in a back four. So keep an eye on him, look where he is, very similar to the way City play, and they've got him pretty much perfect. Now this pricked up my ears when I saw this. I was like, hello. So the newest blog is out, link is down below in the video description, so go and have a read of it yourself. But I'm going to go through some of the things dead, dead quickly now. The first one is this section here, and it's all about new avenues for attacking play. So the example they've used is this 4-2-3-1 with a double pivot with a volante and advanced playmaker in there. Focus on this paragraph right here. Following our rod chasing changes for FM24, the advanced playmaker now recognizes the attacking runs of the Segunda in behind. This means that the AP will move across to open a new channel, freeing up the Segunda Volante to push up as a second number 10 and effectively creating a new shape. To accommodate this, the ball winning midfielder will occupy a more central position. So, in game, what they're saying is. Now, it's going to look something like this. So when you've landed bombs forward, your yeah, advanced playmaker is going to know he's there. So in effect, he'll move across. Your yeah, Segunda then occupies that position. And your ball-winning midfielder, knowing that he's now gone, he will sit in the middle. So he's got more space to cover counter-attacks. I love that. And they continue to complement the changes. They've tweaked the behaviour of the inverted winger and inside forward. Now they recognise when there's a midfield player in their half space, so basically in their zone. So in FM, when, say, one of these players here, have them there like that, it maybe he's a Mazala on attack, when he comes into the advanced forwards zone in there, rather than him coming inside, he'll permanently stick out wide knowing that the Mazala is in his range. So we'll wait and see on that. It sounds like he's going to stay wider. What that's going to help is overloads are going to be more accurate. So if you're focusing play down the right-hand side, for example, and you've got your Mazala in here, like that. And when he breaks into this position here, in that sort of half space, your inside forward will stay out wide, meaning you're going to have more options. So this is the one that caught my eye, the modern evolution, the inverted fullback. For years, we've had inverted wingbacks on the game, but not fullbacks. And you can see here the game has took an inspiration from Man City and Kyle Walker. The inverted fullback combines with your other centre-backs to make a back three. So you're almost two function like wide centre-backs. This means that they defend on the side of the pitch where the ball is, has licence to move slightly further forward. So, so in FM, now this is FM23, so let's pretend this is the inverted fullback. What it's saying is that he will effectively move across into this sort of position here. I mean, these two will move across into more central role for him. He'll sit in there, and then these three are set. These two will become, in effect, wide centre-backs. And this frees up this fella. Now, you can either get him into the midfield with an inverted wing-back role, perhaps, or like we've got him here as a wing-back on attack, meaning he's going to start way higher up. So, in effect, when you've got the ball, you can build up in a free. When you lose the ball, it's going to go seamlessly back into a back four. And the big one... Building out from the back with an enhanced libero, like we saw at the start, John Stone's role is now in FM. And not only that, you can do it in a back four. So, improvements to the libero mean he moves up into defensive midfield in the similar way to the inverted wing back, but he's coming from that central position. So there is truly loads to see here in that blog, so have a good look at it. But look at this, for example. Stones is playing as a libero in a back four, so we'll keep an eye on Stones here. Walker gets the ball, look at Stones' four. He's now in the defensive midfield strata that's the way we wanted him in the last game we tried all sorts of ways to get him there but look at him drop back in there he goes alongside diaz now he's got the ball and he moves forward into basically central midfield alongside rodri there's Grealish out wide you can see stones still way advanced diaz is the one dropping back stones is now very definitely a defensive midfielder going a little bit further forward and he's stopping perfectly there defensive midfielder and now you can do that to build up in a completely different way in FM. They've definitely took inspiration from City. That is not a bad thing. There's Stones again, getting it, giving it. And you can just see the difference. There's a huge difference from 23 in that, the way that player role works. Obviously, the main role, Libero, normally a back three. Now it can be in a back two, mean back four, sorry, meaning that you can build up in a completely different way. It's going to open up a whole range of things. I'm excited.
So yeah, super quick video. I don't do reaction videos, but I had to react to that because for me, that's the best feature update we've seen so far. There's loads in there, including changes to the halfback role. We mentioned the inverted wingers, the wing backs. There's all sorts going on. Have a look through. There's changes in weather. Weather's going to be a bigger factor. There's, and end of the day, you can see more of the graphics. So it's a good thing to have a look at, right? Shot deflection, spin. There's even bounced volleys. It's all going off. There's been not negativity towards FM24, but a lot of people saying they're going to wait till FM25. But now, I think with this update, I think a lot of people will think, hey, FM24, it's on like Donkey Kong.